Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video all about my favorite cruelty-free skincare and wellness products. And I have new hair. I did get it changed recently. I ended up going for a little bit of a darker and like ashier tone. And I also wanted to get some bangs. So I ended up getting like really light curtain bangs. And then like two days later, I decided that I wanted more bangs. <laughs> so I ended up actually cutting them myself and that probably sounds crazy to some people but some people do cut their hair at home and they're perfectly fine with it and I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you are new to my channel like I said my name is Brittany. I do cruelty free beauty lifestyle and also some fashion videos. I love to do hauls and I'm sure you guys will see lots more but like I said in the beginning today I will be talking about some of my favorite skincare and wellness products. I talk about beauty a lot and I do kind of dab into a little bit of skincare but I have so many products that I really love and I was thinking about maybe doing a must-haves video but there's just so many and I don't want you guys to feel like you need all of them so I have a bunch of different products from different brands different price levels so you can kind of get a feel for what you might like or what you're looking for so definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and let's go ahead and get started I have no real order that I will be going in I'm just gonna start with whatever I pick up first and that happened to be lip balm. So I really love lip balm. My lips are dry all the time and especially in the colder months. So I have three favorites here. They're all from different brands and different price points. The first one that I think is actually my all-time favorite that I've ever used before is from Kopari. I did mention this in my last makeup tutorial. It's my favorite. It's called the Lip Glossy, but it isn't necessarily a lip gloss. It might kind of look like it, but it is the most moisturizing lip product I've ever used. It also smells so good and it's made with coconut oil. Oil. The other one I have is the Bite Agave Lip Mask. I have mine in the flavor, I guess, maple, and it is so good. It's my favorite out of all of them that I've tried, and I actually really love the color. It might look kind of intimidating if you see it in the stores, but it's super sheer, and it gives a really pretty shimmer to your lips, so you can obviously wear this during the day or at night, but I actually do like to use it as an overnight lip mask. Those two were on the pricier side if you were gonna go into Sephora, but if you wanted a drugstore lip balm that I recommend, definitely check out Burt's Bees. I've loved every type of lip balm that I've used from them. So I just have this regular one right here. It's just the beeswax lip balm with vitamin E and peppermint. Next, I wanna talk about eye care. And if you've watched my videos for a long time, you know I do have really, really dry skin, especially around my eyes, which makes doing makeup really difficult. <laughs> so a few of the things that I like to do to help keep my eyes moisturized is by using eye masks as well as two really good eye creams. There are a lot of different types of under eye patches out there, but I have one that I really want to recommend and it is from Tarte. I have mentioned these a lot. When you buy them, it comes in a pack of four. So this is obviously just one of the packs. There are two eye patches in here. They are called the Tarte Skin Care Pack Your Bags 911 Under Eye Rescue Patches. The price price point is actually quite reasonable for these, especially because you get four packs out of them. You can find some cheaper ones on the market, but these are definitely my favorite. And the two eye creams that I wanted to talk about, one is from Ola Hendrickson. I have also mentioned this so many times in my videos. It's the Banana Bright Eye Cream. It has vitamin C and it boosts collagen. This one actually has shimmer in it, so it's not overwhelming, but it does give a little bit of a luminous effect underneath your eyes, so it really helps brighten immediately, which is why I tend to like this one more so in the morning. The other one that I like to use is the one that I usually use at night and I put so much of it on. Even though a little bit goes a long way with this one, it is from Skin Fix. It's the Calm and Rejuvenate Eye Cream. This one also says it brightens and reduces puffiness and anytime I use this overnight, I wake up and my under eye area feels so much better. And I just love this brand for more natural skincare products. Obviously not everything is like 100% percent natural but it is better than using other products that are packed with chemicals. I just realized I have another eye product that I totally forgot to talk about here. So this one is from The Body Shop. It is the Vitamin E Refreshing Eyes Cube and I really like to use this to help depuff because it actually feels very cool when you put it under your eyes. This one also has a really pretty shimmering effect so it helps brighten underneath your eyes immediately and I just really like this one. I also want to talk about what I use to remove my makeup because 
because I think that is a really important part of your skincare. And sometimes I do use makeup wipes. I actually forgot to bring them in, but the ones that I'm using right now are from Yes2. I'll show you guys the clip of what it actually looks like, but I do really like those just to remove most of my makeup so that when I actually use a product to cleanse it, it's not like just moving the makeup around my face. And the cleanser that I like to use is actually also from Skin Fix. I just realized this. This is the foaming oil cleanser. I want something to be gentle and not irritating to my skin since I have to take my makeup off all the time. So the other thing I want to mention is if you like a cleansing device to help remove your makeup, I definitely suggest checking out the Foreo line. They have a bunch of different products to help remove your makeup. They also have, I think, eye massagers, which I do have one of those, and a toothbrush. But these ones are so popular. They are called the Luna, and there's a bunch of different ones. So this one is the Luna Play Plus. This one is actually battery powered, so it's a little bit better for traveling. The bigger one that I have actually has like a charging cord. So if you don't want to take that and you just want something small for when you travel, then definitely check these ones out. They are so good and you can get them at Sephora. But after I remove my makeup, I like to do some things that help get rid of acne scarring or discoloration. I did do a video recently with Benzagel where I talked a little bit about how I like to get rid of any discoloration on my skin. And one of the products that I do actually like to use recently is from Pixi. So this is a more affordable option. Option. It is actually a 5% glycolic acid exfoliating toner. So this is really good for evening out your skin tone and exfoliating without any actual physical exfoliation. I think these next two products are probably around the same price point, but I'm not completely sure. One of them I did just get recently, but I've been loving it. So this is the Corez Wild Rose Spotless Serum. It's a 15% vitamin C serum. It is from their Wild Rose collection. I really love the scent of this, but it is also so moisturizing because it is an oil. But of course it's also a serum. So it works in two parts. There is a separation from the oil and the serum. And all you need to do is make sure you mix it up really Really well before you apply it and it feels really good on your skin it smells good and vitamin C is perfect for helping reduce any discoloration or scarring from acne that you had a long time ago the other one I have is from Sunday Riley it's the CEO rapid flash brightening serum it is pretty pricey definitely way more expensive than the pixie glow tonic but it works really well and it is also extremely moisturizing I would assume this one and the Corez probably work pretty much the same it's hard to tell because you do have to use these over time to notice a difference. And then to actually treat any more acne that I might have, it's usually just little spots here and there. Um, but since I did do the video with Benzagel recently, I have obviously continued using their products and I have become obsessed with the Benzagel spot treatment. This is a benzoyl peroxide acne treatment, which I find is the thing that works best for my acne. So this is 2.5% benzoyl peroxide gel. And the top of it just looks like this. You just squeeze it and a little bit comes out and you can dab it onto any acne, little spots that you might have. And I like to do this before I go to bed. It works so quickly for me and I just always love to have it on hand because it's awesome. Another really important step of any skincare routine is to use a sunscreen. I have two that I like to use on my face, but of course you can find one of them in any type of like body sunscreen as well. The first one though is from Ulta. This is the Tree Hut Skincare Protecting Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 30. This was definitely my favorite. I went on a lot of kind of tropical trips or just like places that were super sunny and hot last year and earlier this year. So this one was just amazing. It never broke out my skin or irritated my skin at all. So I took this on every single trip that I went on. Another great cruelty-free sunscreen is from Kula. I feel like they are pretty much popular for just making sunscreen, but I think they have some makeup products now as well. This is the Kula Sport Classic Face SPF 50. So this is more so for when I'm like 
not wearing makeup at all and I'm actually going out to like the beach or something. I wanted to throw in my favorite hand cream. This is also from Skin Fix. It's the hand repair cream that is clinically proven to treat eczema and dry cracked skin on hands. I actually used to have eczema or eczema, however you want to say it, on my hands. This was the only thing that worked that was not like a prescription strength eczema medication because I do have that but I try not to use it if I don't need to. I also just wanted to mention anything from Lush is definitely worth getting. I'm a huge fan of the company. They are really amazing and super passionate about being cruelty free so I just really love the company. Since I'm also talking about wellness maybe these aren't things that go like on your face for everybody to see but I wanted to mention them anyways because I love them and if you are new to being cruelty free then sometimes it might be a little difficult to know what you can or can't buy. So I wanted to show you guys my favorite toothpaste because I didn't even realize when I first went cruelty free that I would need to buy like new mouthwash, new toothpaste, new body wash, and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to show you guys this. It's from Hello. This is one of my backups. I always have like two backups on hand. I get mine from Target. I do believe you can buy them online as well on their website. I love the taste of this toothpaste as well and they have I think like four or five different types of toothpaste. This one is the Soothing Mint with Coconut Oil and it's for sensitivity relief. I also forgot to bring this in here but I did want to mention the body wash that I really love right now is from The Body Shop. They have so many different types of body washes in all different scents and the one that I really like right now is actually one that they had put on sale because I'm not completely sure if they're selling it anymore or maybe it's just a different packaging but it is one of their like banana shower gels. It's so good. I also wanted to mention hand soap because that is another thing that you might need to start buying from a new brand if you go cruelty free. So my favorite hand soap I also get from Target. It's from Mrs. Meyers Clean Day and she also has a ton of cleaning products as well but I really love their soap. I think I just said she has like it's one person, but I'm sure it's a big company. <laughs> I just went through some of my other scents from them and when I was at Target, I saw that they had some fall limited edition scents, so I picked up the apple cider one and it smells so good. And for deodorant, I have currently one that is my favorite. I've been using this one also for actually just over a year now. I had discovered it when I went to StyleCon Dallas. This is, I believe, a Texas-based company. It's called Source Vital Apothecary. I said that wrong. Apothecary. It's the Diozine Zest Natural Deodorant. I have a couple different scents of this, but it is just a natural aluminum-free spray deodorant. I love it. I have bought it for my mom and now my friend really likes it. So these are just really great and they last a really long time as well because they're really big and it is just a spray deodorant. I have one more thing to show as far as like skincare goes and it's for hair removal. I also didn't realize that it was gonna be something that I would need to change over because a lot of the skincare companies that do hair removal are not cruelty free. So this was actually just given to me as a gift from the lovely people who do the booby ball, which is coming up in like I think just over a week, so I'm really excited about it. If you live in the Vancouver area, definitely check it out because it's gonna be so much fun. I will also have um, the link to their website in the description box below because it's a really good cause. They support breast cancer research through the Rethink Breast Cancer Foundation. But anyways, they gave me a cute little package full of goodies and one of the things inside was actually an epilator from Philips and it does have interchangeable heads so you can actually take this off and and turn it into like a cleansing device, an electric razor, and a bunch of other things if you need to use this like on different areas of your body. But so far, I have used the epilator on my legs and it is life-changing. I believe this is called the Philips Satinelle and it has, like I said, interchangeable heads so you can use it for different reasons. But I have used it, like I said, on my legs. It was actually less painful than waxing, so <laughs> it's a huge win for me. And I can actually do this on myself at home and and not really be that much in pain. Also, if you don't know what an epilator does, it basically pulls out the hair. So it's kind of like 
you would shave, but instead of actually shaving it, it's like pulling the hairs out. Definitely sounds very painful, not as bad as you think. Okay, so the very, very last thing that I wanna talk about in this video is from Sage. I have been using these from Sage for a really long time, and this is one of like the newer ones that I got because I'm running out of my old ones. This is the Sage Natural Wellness Pocket Pharmacy. So it actually comes with five of their roller balls. My favorite of all time from Sage is called Peppermint Halo, and this helps so much with neck pain and headaches because I get neck pain a lot which causes my headaches and this gives you like a cool tingling relaxed feeling on basically wherever you put it. It's also good as aromatherapy so it is very relaxing anyways just to smell it and this is so good for traveling they're the perfect size and you can even put this in your carry-on. But that is everything now that I have to show you guys for my cruelty free skincare and wellness favorites. I love these products some of them I've been using since before I went cruelty free anyways. Let me know if you like these these types of videos because I can definitely do more for a different beauty category so just let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see and if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video and definitely check out my channel I have a ton of other videos you guys could check out and I hope you guys are having an amazing day thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye